About 20 years ago, he dated Jennifer Aniston. Additionally, this celebrity collaborated with Angelina Jolie on a high-profile action movie in 2005 that became so successful it inspired a television series. Among his other hits is a mega-blockbuster film he co-wrote with Owen Wilson. With his new detective series on Apple TV+, this well-known actor appears drastically different. In the promotional photo, he looked almost just like Ben Affleck, complete with a smart suit. This is because he seems far more slender. On Wednesday morning, the first trailer for the series, which also stars John Ortiz and Michelle Monaghan, was released. Can you guess who this Minneapolis native and Hollywood favorite is? Vince Vaughn is this man. In 2006, the swingers actor dated Aniston, his co-star in The Breakup. Mr. and Mrs. Smith, the film he co-wrote with Angelina Jolie, also included Brad Pitt, Aniston's former boyfriend. His most well-known Owen Wilson film was Crashers. In his new role as chatty police officer Andrew Yancey, Vince appeared more slender. Bill Lawrence was the showrunner. In addition to being the creator of the television series Scrubs, he is also credited with creating the live-action series Ted Lasso, Ground Floor, Cougar Town, Spin City, and shrinking. The summary claimed, a former detective is demoted to restaurant inspector in the Florida Keys after getting bounced from the Miami Police Department. It also stated, if he can get past a trove of oddballs and one bad monkey, an unusual new case might get him back in the department. In January 2023, he was last spotted with his spouse Kyla Weber. Weber shares Vaughn's Lachlan and Vernon. The couple was hitched in 2010. The star brought his family to the Crypto.com Arena game between the Los Angeles Lakers and the Houston Rockets. He appeared more plump back then, and it's obvious that he's since lost weight in preparation for Bad Monkey. While attending the 2023 premiere of Christmas with the Campbells, a new comedy that Vaughn co-wrote and produced, he expressed desire in working with Ben Stiller on a Dodgeball, a true underdog story sequel. As long as it has high-quality content, that is. They have been talking about these topics for ages, so we'll see where it goes, Vaughn said. I had a fun idea that the studio likes, he added. The premise of the first movie, written and directed by Ross and Marshall Thurber, centers on a group of misfits who enter a dodgeball competition in Las Vegas in order to defend their beloved neighborhood gym from a corporate health fitness franchise. Eighteen years ago, it went on to become a global box office blockbuster, making $188.4 million on a $20 million budget. Vaughn, who portrayed Pete LaFleur, the proprietor of Average Joe's Gym, revealed that Stiller would only consider playing White Goodman again, provided a humorous and unique script was written. White Goodman was the owner of Globo Gym and attempted to acquire Average Joe's Gym. I believe Ben, Stiller, is willing to participate. I believe he shares my perspective that, while it may be enjoyable if it's a great idea, there's no reason to repeat it if it's just something to do once. Vaughn gave an explanation. 